Hi friends, I am back to my large family grocery shop and home, posting my grocery hauls here on large family table. So, I just went to Aldi for a huge one week haul, very long receipt. <laughs> And uh, I'll just start by giving you my numbers. Um, do, 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 do. So my total came to $200.59. Now, whenever the cashier told me how much it was, my calculator stopped whenever I had got to $143, but I didn't need too much more. My goal was to stay within about $200. And so whenever she told me my total, she said that'll be $259. And I was like, how did I go $59 over budget? I wasn't sure how and when that happened. And so I asked her about it and she meant $200.59. That's a big difference. So I was I was feeling proud of myself for coming in around 200. When she said 259, I was like, how, how is that? That's wrong. So it all worked out. I'm gonna show you my receipt. And um, I think I haven't shown my receipts before just because I don't wanna um, flash personal information or whatever on the screen. I'm going to show it to you guys. I think I got it all covered up. So anyway, I'm going to show you my numbers. So you can see there, hopefully it's focusing. Uh, my subtotal was $195.66. And then we have our lovely sales taxes. So my total came to $200.59. And so I'm going to, a lot of these numbers I have in my head. Sometimes people are like, how do you have these numbers in your head? I don't know. I think it's just a mom thing after grocery shopping for so many years. I, I just they they live in there I know what I pay like I know already I got cucumbers for 29 cents today I got eggs for 23 cents a dozen however that keeps happening and uh, but you know it's interesting in one of my um, older Costco videos because you know I have grocery hauls on here we have like a two-year collection of Jamrell's grocery hauls my Costco videos I was looking at one the other day and eggs were 259 a dozen then so Things just happen, prices change. Uh, my Aldi location is a newer location and I know there's a lot of competition going on right now with all the different stores and uh, you know just trying to be competitive and things. So I think that might be affecting our egg prices. I did see online the other day, another lady shared her Aldi prices and I wanna say her eggs were 27 cents a dozen and she was somewhere in Texas. So don't know all that's going on with that. I will be happy when I get hopefully two dozen hens set up again and we get to back to the laying stage but for now i'm enjoying these egg prices oh that's my cat at the window i was like who who is at the window at this time of night but it's my cat trying to get in okay so i'm going to go through everything that i got let's see here so just we'll give you guys a view of our table now this is a one week large family grocery shopping haul if you're new here we are a growing family of nine we also eat you know we really eat food um, we have we school at home I work from home uh, you know my husband he is in college right now um, doing another degree program but you know he eats if he is not home eating he takes a meal that I prepare for him at home so on a month on any given month month that means that's 90 meals a month with 60 plus snacks for nine people um, whenever that's how I break it down when I do a one month haul right now life is just super super busy and um, when I do a big once a month grocery shopping haul that usually uh, you know takes an 8 to 12 hour day and so I could only we can only squeeze out enough time to do a one week haul for this week and uh, I'm glad we did it actually Travis and I were able to make it into a date day and we also went out to lunch and it was just lots of fun so and he said hey we should have grocery shopping dates more often so maybe some weeks I'll start mixing in more of these weekly hauls and let me show you what I got oh also um, I guess I should show you my face here while I'm while I'm, I'm being chatty because we all like chatty um, also we have been we've been doing this now for a couple weeks Travis and I have both gone sugar-free and um, I am using a lot of stevia Travis like in his tea he's just drinking it unsweetened but I'm using stevia and things in my coffee we're pretty much both doing trim healthy mama um, I had a lot of success on that before I lost over 20 pounds you know with my last pregnancy with Daniel the weight that I had gained during the pregnancy, it came right off. However, when we moved last spring, you know, there's just a lot of real life moving stress that goes into it. And I just kind of burnt out. I had done it for two years and I was just tired. So 
Uh, new year, new goals. We've both gone sugar-free. It's really good for me, especially during pregnancy. If you're not familiar with it, it's basically just a way to eat so that you're separating your fats and your carbs for the most part. Uh, you either have meals that are, are higher fat and very small amount of carbs, or and then your next meal might be something like low fat, but you might have you know a medium amount of carbs. So there's a book out there called Trim Healthy Mama. Um, I tweak it a little bit for us. I tweak it for myself. You know, I do a lot of crossovers because I am pregnant, and you'll know what that means if you follow the plan. If you're interested, the book is linked below. Um, and I'm gonna let you know our, our meal plan and everything for this too. So anyway, it's basically lots of fruits and vegetables and lean meats and good healthy proteins and things like that. Of course, you're gonna see things like, oh, we got grape jelly and we got regular old bread. Well, obviously, those are for the kids because, you know, we mix in peanut butter and jelly sandwiches which is around here for them as necessary. So again, this huge haul is for our family of nine. Uh, you know, we have six foot tall teenagers and um, you know, my husband and myself and seven ch children total, including those teenagers. So, so this is everything that I got. Now we do have some things in the pantry. I do have some things in the freezer, but this is, you know, 97% of what we need for this upcoming week. Some things like, you know, both of these jellies, well, we probably won't go through those in a week. We won't go through these two boxes of tea bags. So those are the kind of things that are left over all the fruits and veggies will be gone and and that's a good thing so yes okay so the four pound bags of oranges were only 3.49 a bag i got a really good deal on mandarin oranges at aldi the other week it was a haul that i actually i didn't even film but um they were only two dollars and some change a bag for a three pound bag and i got like four bags this week, the mandarin oranges were back to $3.99, and even though navel oranges are harder for the younger kids to peel, I can peel them for them, though, and I thought, well, we're getting more oranges for less money. It makes sense to do navels for this week. That's what we did. Uh, the cantaloupe was $1.49 a cantaloupe, marked down from $1.99. Not all of my kiddos like cantaloupe, but some of them do, so the ones who do obviously get cantaloupe. Um, in my regular rotation of spices, onion powder, garlic salt, garlic powder and I got some olive oil cooking spray I also got some heavy whipping cream I only got myself one thing of almond milk because I have two containers of it already I'm the only one who drinks it I really enjoy it um, we got the broccoli crowns were a dollar 99 each now my husband you know chopped broccoli raw broccoli and also um, where is it? Oh, way down here we have cauliflower too. And I believe this, these, I got two heads of that. These were $1.99. So that's $8 between the cauliflower and the broccoli. However, it's something that my husband will eat as a healthy snack. So that's worth it. I got a head of cabbage. Cabbage is not on the meal plan at all this week. However, I like having it around because, hey, if mama gets inspired to do something with cabbage, I like to have a cabbage. Um, the tomatoes, these tomatoes were $1.99 a bag. Jaden and I, sometimes Amelia, we're the only ones who eat tomatoes, so we don't really need too many of them. And I have some cherry tomatoes in the refrigerator still. Uh, the pack of peppers, zucchini was $1.99 for a three pack, so I got six total. And the zucchini isn't on the meal plan either, but I'm gonna use it in something. I just know I will. Uh, over here, the cucumbers now, you know, things that excite me. Cucumbers were only 29 cents each, so I got 10 of them, and I thought we will have lots of fresh cucumbers on our snack plates this week. Um, I got some kale. I stick kale in all kinds of things. I got, got three garlic bulbs. These were 99 cents. Got a pack of spinach. I went through a whole pack of spinach last week, just mixing it in different meals, throwing it in smoothies, things like that. Uh, thing of green onions, 99 cents. Now radishes. I've never done much with radishes at all, but I've read a lot of recipes where you can take radishes and if you cook them, you know, if you put them in the slow cooker, pressure cooker, or different ways you can do them, they actually can give you the, you can feel like you're eating potatoes. So we're gonna, I'm gonna try some radishes and some things. I'll let you guys know how that goes. And if you sneak radishes into things, you can let me know how that works for you too. Two packs of mushrooms. I like to do uh, big omelets for Travis and I in the mornings. And plus I just put mushrooms in everything. So there's that. Um, everybody loves smoothies, so we got lots of, frozen strawberries and then these mixed fruit packs too looks like there's peaches and okay strawberries pineapple mango and peaches so i know i have some kids who will enjoy that um and you see there's no yogurt in this hall well i can just pour a gallon 
of milk in my slow cooker and I can, within the process of a day, I can make a huge gallon full of yogurt and I'll do that and then we'll use it for our smoothies and I'll pop up a, yeah, the carrots, it's a two pound bag. They were $1.29 a bag. So I got eight pounds of carrots. What we did with these about two weeks ago is I actually, I gave Zion a quick little course in, um, in peeling carrots and you know cutting the tips the tips off so just a little bit making carrot sticks and we filled a huge container with water with our eight pounds of chopped carrot sticks and it took us uh, about five days or so but that way we had fresh carrot sticks all week long some people were concerned about you know sticking our hands in the water for the carrot sticks what I did was I had them in the, con the container of water in the fridge and I had a slotted spoon. And so when I would go to serve carrot sticks, like as a side dish with a meal, I would use that slotted spoon, not my hand, and get a scoop of carrot sticks. It was not a situation where all the kids had their hands in and out of the carrot water all week. It was where mom only used a slotted spoon to get carrot sticks as a side dish. So that's a, a quick tip, and um, I might be able to get my container at the end here and show you the container I used. I think it was like $8 at Walmart. Now there are those really nice like Tupperware type containers that have like a little, um, little tray on the inside and you pull it up and it has your carrot sticks there at the top of the water for you. I will link one of those in the description below. However, there's none that I could find that would hold eight pounds of carrots. And for it to be worth it for us to do, I need a lot and I need them done so that we have easy, quick snack access for the week. Um, I showed you cauliflower already, two things of jelly, two packs of tea, the eggs. Now, I saw on there they charged me for 14 dozen eggs. I thought I only got, yeah, that looks about right. So anyway, 14 dozen eggs, 23 cents a dozen somehow, uh, mama's coffee, a little bit of spread. And then, so on uh, Trim Healthy Mama, you can do Ezekiel bread. There's a few different types you can do and there's sprouted bread. Well, this sprouted seven grain bread, I've been told is good as an e-meal if that's what you're doing. And so you can see there's 11 grams of carbs. You subtract your fiber, the dietary fiber, and that means there's nine grams of carbs in one slice. So for me to go along with my breakfast in the morning as a crossover or for my husband, because he's eating so healthy anyway, uh, he can certainly have one slice of sprouted bread with his eggs. I'm not gonna hold that against him. So, and again, those are the little adaptations that we do. So I got just my husband and I, these were $2.99 a loaf. And you see, they're not very big, uh, not good for, you know, peanut butter and jelly sandwiches for a whole herd of children. This bread over here, it's um, wheat bread, big loaf, 99 cents a loaf, and I got 10 loaves. Now, it doesn't mean we're gonna go through 10 loaves in the week, although if, you know, if we decide to do French toast one day, you know, that could be two loaves right there. So, and during lunch, if we do a sandwich day, now the way I have my meals planned this week, we're gonna have dinner leftovers for lunch the following day. And my plan is that we'll also mix in, obviously, fresh fruits, veggies, and smoothies. However, this mama, I need to have bread on hand. Also, so with the bananas, 44 cents a pound, and I got right around 30 pounds. I think it was actually 32 pounds. And um, some of these are ripe and ready to go, and some of them are still green. So if there are any left at the end of the week between all the things that we're gonna do, um, or when they start to brown, I will peel the I will peel the peels off and shove them in a gallon bag. A couple people have asked me why I fill gallon bags full. What some people don't understand though is that you know if I do go to make banana bread for the kids in the bread machine and I'll pop up a recipe for you for for banana bread here, um, I can go through a whole gallon bag of bananas whenever I make, you know, maybe six loaves or so in the bread machine, because I like to have that kind of specialty bread in the freezer for the kids as well. Plus, when we do smoothies, um, you know, I can set the bag of bananas out for, I don't know, 15 minutes or so. Then I can easily break off the bananas I need for smoothies. Plus, everyone likes bananas. So again, we go through the bananas that we store. I currently don't have any in the freezer, so it's not a problem. And it's not worth it for my family size, hello talking hand, <laughs> to, um, to do smaller bags of them. Uh, but a lot, sometimes we'll go through this many bananas and not have any that go turn, start to turn at all. So meat wise, all right. So this is not the best ground beef 
This is 73 lean, 27% fat. However, the, all the other ground beef that Aldi had today, it was the same percentage. You know, I like to get 80-20. That's just, you know, what I normally get. They just didn't have it there. So the 73-27 in the black, um, the black plastic containers was like $1.99 a pound. This was $1.79 a pound. And they had a special, so it ended up being like a little ended up being eight dollars and some change my receipt is over there but eight dollars and some change a roll so i just saved two dollars on that and i'll again i'll let you know my meal plan here soon and then for this chicken now i would have loved to stock up on chicken today because they had that i love it when they have this um the boneless skinless chicken breast for a dollar 49 a pound so this is 6.42 pounds of chicken for under 10 bucks for 9.57 so i got three packs because we're doing different chicken things this week. And then milk was $2.13 a gallon, and I got seven gallons, because we go through a gallon a day, plus, you know, if I make yogurt or something. And that's it, guys. So that is our one-week grocery haul. Oh, here's my Aldi receipt, yay. One-week grocery haul for our large family with teenagers and people who really eat, attempting to do uh, mom and dad are sugar-free and trying to eat uh, fairly healthy as we roll into this new year and now that i have a few minutes to think about it oh i forgot these berries okay so um blueberries are in season right now they have to be because they're a dollar 49 right now so i got two packs amelia if i would let her she would just sit and eat this whole thing so blueberries and then these packs of blackberries were a dollar 49 also so i got two packs of blackberries two packs of blueberries so our large family meal plan this week is not too complicated. Also, let me tell you, um, every single item on this receipt, you know, it's hard for me to get these receipts typed out. I know that you guys like to go over to the blog and then look at everything and look at the prices all the way down. I've done that some, but honestly, usually whenever I transcribe a receipt, it takes me over an hour. So I'm gonna try, uh, you know, Jaden does some part-time things for me with uh, all my online dealings. And so, um, and I have some other ladies who can help me, but it's kind of hard to send a long receipt through the internet. So hopefully you can go over to the blog if the link is in the description below and Jaden will have this all typed out and I'll have pictures and more details of everything I got in the blog post if you're a visual person and uh, you also like to, to take in the written word. Um, also, in reference to the blog, I'm doing, you all know I'm doing like a name change and URL change and all of that. And if you have questions about that, I'll pop up a video for you here. It's long though. Anyway, the new URL is gonna be largefamilytable.com. I'm trying to make it as easy as possible for people to find me because I know my, my name is a winner, winner, chicken dinner. It's hard to, you should see all the Google searches for the different spellings of my name. It's funny. Okay, my meal plan for this week, I'm gonna read it off my phone, okay? So we're gonna have um, slow cooker Italian chicken. That's super easy, and I'll either pop a recipe up if YouTube will let me, or I'll have it linked in the description below where you can go over to the blog for it or watch the video. I pretty much just dump a bottle of Italian dressing on my chicken. I have Italian dressing in my pantry. That's why you didn't see it in my haul. So we're gonna have that with fresh veggies one night. I'm also gonna do my chicken and rice bake where I just line, where I just line two baking pans with rice and I put the chicken on top and I cover it in foil and I bake it. That's another recipe that I will pop it up or link it into the description below. Um, we're gonna do chicken alfredo and broccoli. I got the um, heavy cream for the chicken alfredo. I have my I have sour cream and I have cream cheese in my refrigerator already. And of course I got the chicken and I have a bag of broccoli left from my last grocery haul. So that's another thing that we're doing. Again, that recipe will be linked below. Um, another thing that I'm doing, and I shared a picture on Instagram, is I did burgers in foil packets. You know, I, a good hamburger is a good hamburger. However, I can't stand like the stovetop mess and everything in the winter. It's just too greasy and we don't have a grill. If we had a grill, I would just do them outside on the grill. We, didn't, we need to pick up a new grill. Our last grill we had for a long, long time until I finally caught it on fire. So we need a new grill, that's on the spring list. So anyway, it's just very simple. You just make really big season, stuff them with cheese or uh, mushrooms, whatever you want. 
real thick burgers. You put them in foil packets. You seal them up real tight. And uh, a lot of people have told me they, they've had did these in Girl Scouts or Boy Scouts. They called them hobo dinners. You can they add in potatoes and other things. I just did the the loaded burgers um, with the cheese and things, and then I baked them for at 400 degrees for one hour. They were not dry. All the grease was kept in the packet. Super easy cleanup. Yes, I had to wrap each burger in foil, but it was just as simple. As, I mean, it was, you know, it was a 15 second job. It was not that big of a deal. I'd rather wrap burgers in foil right now than clean up a grease mess on the stove, honestly. So we're gonna have burgers one night. Then we're gonna have a leftover night somewhere in there. Um, also, I'm planning these meals so that we should have leftovers the next day for lunch. Even if the kids and I, for some reason, aren't interested because we wanna do smoothies or something else, my husband will have it for his lunch because he takes his lunch every day. Um, and then for next weekend, we're gonna do a big, large family uh, pot of chili. And I'm gonna do a bunch of cornbread because we're having company next weekend. Even if I don't eat the cornbread, they'll love the cornbread, kids will love the cornbread. So we're gonna do a big pot of chili. That's another recipe, it'll be linked below. And then all of these recipes together are, will be in my grocery haul post with my printed receipt and everything over on largefamilytable.com. I feel like I've been rambling, but I think we covered everything for this grocery haul. I hope to chat with you guys in those comments, and I'll see you with another brand new video real soon. Bye-bye.